Last year in November, we noticed that lots of clients had pretty big gains in their portfolios. In retirement accounts, we weren't too concerned that that was actually good, but in some of the taxable accounts, we had capital gains that we had taken in those accounts that may have caused quite a bit in taxes if we hadn't done anything. But one thing that we were concerned about at the time was that, that there weren't hardly anything that we could use to offset the big capital gains that we were showing in the portfolios because we hardly had anything that was down at the time. So what we did is we were able to use what are called opportunity zones uh, in order to defer capital gains that we had taken over the previous six months. And so we were able to look at everything from around May 15th to around uh, November 15th and defer the gains on all of those investments. A lot of CPAs aren't that aware of opportunity zones and how they work and until you explain to them that they're very much like uh, doing a 1031 exchange. Uh, and when you're doing a 1031 exchange, it's basically uh, you, you sell a piece of property and as long as you buy a like type of property within six months and follow the, the rules for doing the 1031 exchange, you don't have to pay taxes on the gains in the property that you sold. Opportunity zones work very similarly, except you can use uh, the gains on just about anything from stocks to homes to cars to whatever. And so that's even better than a 1031 exchange. The rub is it's not that easy to prepare the taxes. So I was talking with my mother and she was preparing her taxes using TurboTax and she was having a really hard time with it. And so finally I got her to come here and see me and get a hold of somebody online to walk us through how to file this and work through it. So TurboTax does not have a module for what we want to do with the opportunity zones. Um, with, with these opportunity zones, you have to file an IRS form 8949, which is uh, sales and dispositions of capital assets. And uh, it, with that, you, you also need to file a form 8997, which is an initial and annual statement of qualified opportunity funds. TurboTax didn't have anything for that, but we were able to find a workaround. And that workaround was to do this within the capital gains section and list everything individually. What we were able to do is show the uh, cost basis as uh, for the opportunity zone investment is zero and the proceeds as a negative number and show, showing that to, to offset the, the gains and the things that we sold. And that worked for us. And we passed that along to clients. We passed that along to CPAs that we know are working with these clients that have the opportunity zones. If you still own the opportunity zones and, and still need to figure out how to do that or still need the numbers on how to file those, uh, what, what the actual deferral is, uh, please get with us and we can help provide that to you.